This Ridley O is sponsored by ThinkPenguin.com. Okay, thanks, Catherine. Yeah, okay, uh, Catherine, I've started an audio recorder. I have a policy of recording interviews, um, and I'm required by law to inform you of that. Um, anyway, yeah, sure, whatever, whatever questions you had. Sure, yeah. Okay, uh, give me just a few seconds here, I'll set that up. Okay. Um, actually, if you could do me um, a favor first and just tell me your name and, and, and what you do, um, if maybe if you have a formal title with NH Exit or any way how would, you would like me to describe you. Okay. Uh, yeah, and, and you, it's Catherine, correct? Yep. Yeah, Catherine, uh, yeah, I, I don't really have an official title. I run, you know, I, I own the domain name for nhexit.com. And you can hear me okay, correctly? I've got you technically on speakerphone, but am I coming through okay? Yes, you are. Okay, good. <clears throat> yeah, the whole, the whole kind of, you know, ethos, I guess, inside our movement is pretty decentralized. Everybody kind of has their own website or own thing going, and we don't even communicate all that much. Uh, you know, as an entire group, there's, a, I guess, a few of us that communicate with each other a lot, but uh, it's, it's very decentralized, so I don't have any central, I don't have any title. Okay. So you're just a resident of New Hampshire who's supportive of this legislation? Right. Uh, yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, and how would you describe the, the, um, so the gist of this um, resolution? What are you aiming to do? Well, the idea is to give the people the ability to vote in a Brexit-style referendum, <clears throat> or a, maybe you could call it a Quebec-style referendum, uh, and you know, let the people decide. Uh, New Hampshire doesn't have, as I understand it, uh, a very clear referendum process, and for us, you know, as kind of newbies, the best we could come up with to get it in front of the people was a constitutional amendment. There are some claims that you could make a piece of legislation that creates a referendum, uh, and I'd like it if we could eventually do that. But for now, uh, we have a constitutional amendment, and that's at least at least it tries to put it in front of the people. Does that make sense? Yeah. And what's sort of the the motivating factors behind it? Well, I like the idea that independence is just independence. It's not about any any one thing. It's about your grievance, uh, Catherine. It's not about my grievance <laughs> in a sense like i have things i don't like about the federal government but you and everyone else in the state has things they don't like about the federal government uh and it's really about that it's about what you don't like about the federal government uh there are a thousand different things right you know uh, the the fact that they start a new war every 10 years the, the fact that they're risking every life in new hampshire with their nuclear policy and all those nuclear weapons uh the fact that they um it, you know, they come to people's houses and take their guns for having the wrong guns or for having the wrong uh, drugs. It, some people have some of these grievances. Some of people have all of them. Some people have none of them. But everyone has to pay the F-bombing 20% IRS tax, right, and the inflation tax and all the other taxes that raise the, the price of things. We we're paying about 10 times as much as we're supposed to be paying for whatever we buy just when you add up all those taxes. And this um, is not essentially a new idea in New Hampshire. Um, it's happened before, correct? But what's different this time is this um, trigger event, as it's called. Oh, you know, with the Free State Project? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, that's... The, um, I'm, I'm seeing that there's a trigger event, so um, it has to do with the national debt. Oh, that's right. The, uh, yeah, the $40 trillion thing. So... One of uh, Rep Representative Gerhard's key grievances is the high level of debt. So he set a trigger that that the uh, that uh, once the debt hit forty trillion dollars, that would trigger the constitutional amendment going into effect, I guess, or or it would trigger people being able to vote on it. I'm not sure which. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. So it's um, it, you're saying it doesn't. Everyone ha may have their own sort of ideas or. Um, wishes to you know, create independence um, from the federal government. It, it could be a, a, a number of different reasons why this would um, 
be implemented, um, just depending on the individual. It's just, I mean, do you want the freedom to mismanage your own affairs or not, ultimately? Okay. Um, there's a, a public hearing as well on the 12th um, that would says, create a study committee to talk about all the issues involved um, for New Hampshire independence. Um, what are you hoping to see from the study committee? Well, it'd be nice to see it pass. Uh, but basically, I think the committee is mainly a response to criticisms that we faced uh, in 2022 when we had similar legislation. Uh, Representative Baldessaro, who was in charge of the committee, uh, said that one of his reasons for voting against our legislation was that he felt like there was no plan. Ultimately, the plan kind of comes later. <laughs> I think with independence, it's kind of always that way. You can't really do it until you've done it. Um, However, uh, one thing we can do that is similar to planning is to create a study committee so that at least we know more and we have more ideas. Um, in Slovenia, when they declared independence in 1991, it was a big surprise. They didn't see it coming. No, no one did, even the people that wanted it. Um, and so they really only had, a, in a sense, maybe a year or a year and a half to prepare. And they were just, they were just caught completely un, unready and they made all these mistakes. They still benefited from it, um, but we, want, we don't want to be like, we, we want to improve on the mistakes that have been made by other independence movements. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, and finally, why not just, um, in, instead of aiming for independence, why not try to work within the democratic process itself and send, make sure that New Hampshire is sending representatives to um, DC that will, you know, work for your goals. Oh, well, how's that been working out for you? I mean, do you feel represented by your, <laughs> by your quote unquote representative? Um, does anyone, they, they represent what is, I don't what, how many hundreds of thousands of people does a representative supposedly represent now in DC? Uh, again, we, we, we've got two hot wars going on right now, either one of which could go nuclear you know, every night I go to sleep wondering if I'm going to see a bright light coming through my walls because of federal policy. It's not, you know, they're not the only culprits, but <clears throat> that's how things have been working out for the last hundred years. You know, there hasn't been one administration in D.C. that has left office with a smaller government than it, than it took, right? Like every single president for the last hundred years has left office with a bigger government than it came in, no matter what is promises were at the beginning and that's it's not because there's a bunch of evil people or something like that it's just systemic it's just it, we've had a system that's been in place for 200 what is it 230 240 years now and we haven't ever had a real reboot you know uh germany got a reboot they kicked out their system you know in, in the in the late 40s and they got a better system than what they had had before russia got a reboot uh, their system got slightly better, right, in the 1990s. I mean, for all the different terrible things that have happened around the world, almost every country has had a chance to reboot and start their government over because it got obsolete or because it was fascist or communist or something like that. We've never had that in the United States. This is just the closest thing we know how to provide. Nothing else is, seems to be working, so we're trying this. Okay, great. Um is there any chance that you would have contact information for um, Jason Gerhard? Um, or do you know if he's open to talking about this right now? I'm sure he is. You'll find that at, um, if I don't have it, you can find it at Gen Court, uh, the, the New Hampshire uh, State House website. Yeah. Uh, I, for, for some reason, I always struggle to get a hold of um, New Hampshire legislators. They don't. <laughs> I mean, I understand it's contact information. You don't want, always want your cell phone number floating around there in the public um, to be bombarded with uh, phone calls. But, okay. Um, I'm, let me look right. here. I, well, I've got a list of, I may have something for him here. Let's see. And I would, what I would do is probably have him contact you or give me permission to send you the information. Right, uh, yeah. But I may have it. Let's see. So I got all these entries for Gerhard, but none of them seem to be an address. I've also got. Uh, uh, I've also got uh, my email, which I know 
I know I've communicated with him, so his it may be in my email outbox. Let's see if I do a keyword search for Gerhard. I'm getting what looks like nothing. Uh, he's on our Telegram group, so I will put out a public request. Uh, what should I say on the Telegram group that would you'd be comfortable with in terms of your com contact information? Hmm. Um, well, well, I wouldn't want a lot of responses from uh, a lot of people. I guess I'm just looking for his contact info. Um, so okay, I'll just, have, I'll just try to have them contact me with it and try to send it to you if that's okay. Yeah, yeah. That sure, will take that will that. take longer, but that will that might work. Let's see. I'm writing it now. So, how do you spell your name, Kathleen? Or do you want me to just say that I have a reporter on the line? Uh, no, I can give my name. It's Catherine K A. I'm sorry, Catherine. How did I say Kathleen? Uh, that's okay. I get all I get Kathy all the time. Um, it's Catherine K A T H R Y N. Uh huh. And my last name is Carly C A R L E Y. From New, and... New What's it called? The New York. What is it called? Uh, no. Uh, public News Service. Public News Service. For a uh, national radio network. Service, okay. Well, it's good to see a new network out there. At least it sounds new to me. <laughs> I've been around a while. Um, we air on uh, a lot of uh, commercial and community stations nationwide. Okay. Uh, uh, C-A-R-L-E-Y mm -hmm. is looking to speak with Rep. Gerhard. G E R H A R D. Can anyone get me in touch with him? Okay, that's what I've written. Catherine Carley from Public News Services looking to speak with Rep. Gerhard. Can anyone get me in touch with him? Sound good? Yeah, thank you. Okay. Excellent. Yeah, I don't like to be too fast and loose with other people's information. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, totally. Um, yep, and you have my cell number on your phone now, so that's great. Um, I'd like to give you a backup contact, too, if I might. Sure. I didn't have one when I sent the news release, but I acquired one today. Okay. Uh, and that's Bonnie. Uh, I'm not sure what Bonnie's last name is now that I think about it. Um, she just gave me permission to give out her number. Let's see. Uh, Bonnie at 603 405. I'm sorry, 603 So if I represent the old guy generation, she represents the young people generation. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, what, one, I'm sorry, go ahead. Can I, can I ask where you live just so I could reference say, you know? If yeah. Rather than saying you're from New Hampshire, yeah. Go ahead. Winchester. Okay. All right. Two other things. Two other things I should probably mention. I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, I, was, I just asked if you were getting snow up there today. That's all. Yeah. Two things I wanted to mention. First of all, 42% uh, of New Hampshireites, according to the survey USA poll, already already want an independence referendum. I guess that was in the news release, but that's a point that gets lost. Kind of the elf, kind of the elephant in the room. So we've already achieved that. It's that's a much higher number of that's a lot more support for independence than they had in Scotland. Yeah. At least it, that, if you're thinking, uh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Well, I was to say, what is what does that 42 percent say to you? That sort of growing number of people who are backing this. Well, <clears throat> I think it was growing as of two years ago. We don't know for sure what's happened since then, but the. Um, I mean, I, it just, it's a natural process when governments are in place too long without some kind of a reboot. It just gets worse and worse and worse until it gets so bad that everybody is willing to, you know, have uh, independence under discussion. Um, well, Dave, thank you so much for your time and um, your effort at um, getting hold of the representative. I appreciate that. Um, if you happen to get his contact information you know please give me a call or text me um i would appreciate that thank you and um yeah i think i'll give bonnie a call see what she has to say and um i'll be in touch thank you all right thanks uh, thanks Catherine. i almost called you bonnie <laughs> no problem 
All right, thanks for letting me talk to you on a Sunday. Appreciate All it. All right, take care. Okay, thanks, bye. Do you value your privacy? Want hardware that works? Get Linux at New Hampshire's very own Bing, Penguin, dot com.